right, but I blame Lifty for this. Okay, moving what on to 10. You, you, you're a communist, that's why. I am Nine. not a communist, this you damn This episode is. has gone to shit, brought you apart by the Earth, the Earth game pelted by fucking solar flares. I, I assume it's solar flares. It really, literally is. Solar flares. Oh, solar flares. This episode of Furry Frequencies is brought to you by Spirit Ooh, Airlines. Dave. Solar flares? How about solar fares? Go to about 100 destinations for only $99 one way. Go to spiritair.com today. Hello and welcome to Furry Frequencies, episode 12. I am your gracious host, Silox, joined by Sharky. What's up? And Lifty. Hey! All right, on today's episode, we have a bunch of wonderful topics to discuss with you. We're going to talk about BLFC, recapping everything that went on this weekend, um, looking over the Telegram disruption that happened. Um, I think a lot of us got Thanos snapped due to that. And, of course, we're going to look at furry mascots. But to kick things off, let's talk about BLFC, Biggest Little Fur Con, the best fur con out west. Don't fight me over that. Okay, so none of us were at BLFC this weekend, unfortunately, but we did get to see a glimpse of what happened through Twitter. And trust me, BLFC this weekend was amazing. Everybody seemed to have fun. Now, that said, there were some issues at the convention, Mm -hmm. such as... There were a lot of issues. I don't know. (laughs) I'm not not even going to fucking sugarcoat that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, first of all, to start off with, even before the convention began, there was a big brouhaha over a new policy at BLFC where uh, attendees can only go into the dealer's den once on Friday night. If they go out, they can't return until Saturday. And a lot of people were just like going, what the fuck? And there's a simple reason for this. BLFC is a growing convention, of course, like all healthy growing conventions in the furry community. It of course has some growing pains. And unfortunately the dealers then at BLFC is reaching its maximum capacity, especially on Friday nights when it's very, very busy. And it's called peak hours. So, if this happens and they go over capacity, the fire marshal can come in and shut down the dealer's den, say, everybody out, this is a fire hazard, this is not safe, everybody out, don't come back in here again. And of course, BLFC doesn't want to do that, so they have to do this, but of course, everybody's going, what the fuck, at it, because of course, nobody wants to just go in once and just browse everything and then be afraid to leave because they don't know if they're going to come back in. But uh, if they're having these issues, have they ever considered, you know, maybe um, going to a new venue? Ha. So the, the issue with that is where are they going to go? There's okay. So in Nevada, there's like three cities, Las Vegas, Reno and Carson city. They're not going to Carson City, which is in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. I don't know. What the, I don't know a damn thing about Reno, Nevada, except it's a podunk town with gambling, and it's next to Lake Tahoe. So they might have a convention center. They might not. I don't know. I do know Las Vegas has convention space. Have you ever wondered why there are there is no convention in Las Vegas, besides the fact that furries in Vegas would be a complete disaster? It's expensive. There you go. That's the reason why. It's very expensive. So no furry convention, unless they're subsidized by some fucking billionaire, could survive out in Las Vegas. So in a way, the convention in Reno is kind of stuck. They can't really go anywhere else. So and they perish. They perish. <laughs> well, I'm going to say this. <laughs> The bronies made Vegas work. Well, that, so top that. Oh, Lord, here he goes. Well, that's bronies. They're 
they're special. Let's just say that. They're, they're also dying out. So they're not yeah, they're, about they're an dead. expanding population. They're integrating into the furries. Ew. Bronies are Can just furries in that denial. We have to There's be space. nice to them. We have to be nice to them now. It's like, oh. No, no, no. I think there's going to be several holdouts. Oh. Like, there I'm are, there are like people... resistance fighting against, like, the furry kind. No, 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 no. It's going to be like, it's going to be like, it, have you ever seen that, that, that scene in Pirates of the Caribbean where Jack Sparrow is just, like, floating in, into the port on his sinking ship? There's, there are going to be fur, there are going to be bronies just like that that are going to be floating into the furry port, oh, standing Lord. proudly on the mast. Please, as no. they float in. <laughs> That's like my nightmare. Please don't. I, I, I can't with that. They're what? So, oh, we're going to instead of a That's a metaphor. Square, we're going to see a bunch of That's a great metaphor. White knights on a ship. <laughs> you guys are trifling. Wait, did you just call me trifling? <laughs> Are you serious right now? You can't even say it right, idiot. I'm not trifling. Boy. I'm ignorant. I'm, ig I'm ignorant. I ain't trifling. You God. ignorant, damn it. Wow. Hold up. Don't you say it. Please don't. You, you, you say it better than I do. Y'all be yeah. so ignorant. No, Red Nick says it better than I do. Imagine that. Way to go. Yep. <laughs> you ignorant. Oh, Lord. It's bringing up... He was doing it, motherfucker. But um, after some clarification regarding the um, this policy and it being only for Friday night, everybody was freaking out because they thought it was for the entire convention <laughs> instead of just Friday night. Oh, Lord. Well, that's furries for you. And yeah. They get so, one piece of information and assume. Yeah, and then they blow it up. Yeah. Um, so after some clarification, the brouhaha over that died down and people were still able to enjoy the convention however during the convention some of the elevators actually shut down at the uh, grand sierra resort and that, uh, i'm not surprised made it about. very very difficult for people to some people were actually afraid to leave their bed their rooms in in the tower <laughs> did badger because... say something about that boozy badger say he's honestly has anxiety about leaving his fucking room because it's just i don't think that was boozy badger. stuck i don't some I don't... badger individual yeah it was some badger individual but i don't think it was it was uh it was boozy i don't well, even know some if boozy was guy gone. with the badger in his name was just like i have badger honest Brian. anxiety to leave my fucking hotel room because he doesn't want to get stuck, unable to use the elevator. Well, here's a novel idea. Here's a novel idea. Think of this. They have these things called stairs, and you can Some walk down can't stairs. Some really use stairs, such as myself, because we have okay, fucked well, up knees. So fuck you. Not stairs. you. Wow. That is mean, first fuck of all. Fuck you in the stairs. How about that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Time out now. No woeing this train. Oh, Lord. It's begun. Oh God, he began it. Oh no, it's gonna happen now. Yes. Oh fuck. But yeah, seriously, so um, I I get that. Um, so elevators not working at cons is one of the worst things ever, especially at a bigger con like BLSC. Um, if you've ever been to AdfroCon, I know in the Marriott they have this long ass line to um use the elevator to go up to the rooms, and it's. It's a nightmare. So just imagine that, but not just one elevator, but all three of them not working. That's oh, a geez. huge problem that can really not take down a con, but it can really cripple a con yeah. for an extended period of time. So I think in situations like that, it's more appropriate for people who can at least those who can who are um mobile who don't have a disability a physical disability and who can walk down the stairs to at least consider that um if you are a fursuiter though or you are disabled or for whatever reason you don't feel comfortable walking down stairs i think it's tough that you have to be put into that situation where you kind of have to stay in your room because 
you don't know if the elevators are going to work when you use them. And I noticed this happened before. People have been trapped on elevators while at conventions, and it's been chaos. And so I'm guessing the con in the hotel wants to avoid that, but at the same time, it's kind of hard to because those elevators are getting quite the um, usage that they're not really used to, I'm guessing, most of the year. And things tend to break down at that time when they're overused. And I don't know the layout of BLSC. I don't know their elevator schematics or whatever, but I'm guessing that there are multiple elevators in that hotel, but most of them were probably not. I heard that. Oh, sorry. Um, I heard that half the elevators at BLFC were inoperable. Half? Half. Oh my God. Half and then they That was a big reason. That was a big reason why we had an elevator issue at BLFC in the first place, because half the elevators were just (sighs) inoperable. So this is a, I'm guessing this is a pretty upscale casino. How do they not have the staff to make sure that the elevators are working properly? Not just for furries, but for other guests as well. Because it's not just us at the hotel. Do you have other guests as well who are going there to use the casino? How well, is it that they don't think, think about this? Well, I think these things... They do test the elevators, but they test them ahead of time to make sure they work. And at the at that time, they don't really stress test the elevator because they don't have a bunch of people to just crowd in there and stress test the elevators at that time. So when they work, they work. But when you stress test them with a bunch of people, a bunch of fursuiters going up and down all the time, that's going to just take <laughs> a toll on the elevator. <laughs> and what perfect time for elevators to just break down than when they're actually needed the most. Isn't that, you know, isn't it amazing how that works? But look at this. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to send you guys a link to, um, Escape to Force. this, to this uh, video that somebody called Ratnip uh, captured about the elevator line at BLFC this year, and it is, it, it's something to behold. I mean, look at this. There's like three lines. No, it, it's up. it's actually no, it's weaving around the lobby. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, let me see. Oh my god, that's embarrassing. Yeah, yeah. Hold up! 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 Hold up, hold up. Hold up. What is this guy wearing? Hold the phone. Back it up. Which guy? At se- at six seconds in. What, what the fuck are you wearing? Hold on a minute. He looks like Ric Flair, but without the flair. What are you wearing? Oh, you're talking about uh, Mr. Mr. Cheetah Print over here? <laughs> Why are you wearing that? <laughs> <laughs> It's a furry convention. You, you honestly no. asking. You're honestly asking a convention full of people in in fur suits. And I've been other to random plenty crap. of cons, and I can tell you, if I saw that shit, I'd be like, "What no. the fuck you doing, brother?" No, he <laughs> needs to take. He needs to take that off and burn it. That is a disgrace. That's a disgrace. Silox, have you ever watched The Fifth Element? Yes, I have. With um Chris um with uh, Mel not Mel fucking hell Mel Gibson no with Chris um, Tucker. Chris Tucker and um, Mila Janovich, I think that's who Yeah, yeah. And um, what's the guy's name? Uh, the Sixth Sense guy. Bruce Willis, yeah. Bruce Willis, yeah. yeah. Oh, I love that movie. Yeah, I do too. Um, let me see. Do you remember um, Chris Tucker's character? Yes, very over the top and kind of... Uh, and do you remember what he wore in that... In that he wore a cheetah Ruby, Ruby, or leopard Rod. print um, outfit in one of the scenes, yes. Yeah, do you remember? Do you remember that guy? Yes, I do. Do you remember that character? I do. I'm saying I do. Like I'm getting married to somebody. I do. Can you hear me? <laughs> no, my internet is shit. <laughs> oh my god, my internet. Oh my god. Okay. Um, let me check 
because you know what it might be. I know there was a solar storm happening, and that tends to fuck with shit. Let me check that. A solar storm? Yes. So you know how the sun it releases energy. It releases um, solar flares. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a massive one that was supposed to hit the Earth, and that usually tends to fuck with technology. Oh. So let me check the okay. model right now. Sweet. Because that's pretty weird that everybody's thing is kind of fucked up at the moment. Oh, I finally found the tweet, by the way, about the badger dude that had anxiety. Uh, let me just read. We're still recording, so might as well. Uh, let me just read you this tweet from Freeze Badger, a.k.a. Diggy Boy. Dear BLFC and the GSR. I've got legit anxiety about leaving my room because I'm not actually sure I'll be able to make it back up. Same. You're likely going to see a drop in attendance if you don't lay out a plan to fix this shit. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm mad as hell, this, this, but I'm not going to take it anymore. That's what I heard when you did that. This poor baby. Oh, my Lord. What the fuck am I reading? Wow, he expresses some really strange shit, man. Earthquake warning. Earth's rotation is slowing, and it will lead to major tremors. The Earth's magnetic poles are shifting. Oh, oh my man. God, we're all doomed. Who believes this shit? Come on, man. Stop. Stop. Hold on one second. That's just embarrassing. This is... It's all pop side on, bullshit. This is great. Stop. This is great. Okay, I can't find anything on the solar storm. It, was, it hit last week, apparently. All right, so getting back to where we were talking about, um, I... I the whole elevator situation needs to be fixed because if I, I kind of agree with this guy. If it's not fixed, the uh, convention will start to lose out. Um, I don't think it's going to be big, but you will see a decrease in attendance. I mean, the worst thing that BLSC has going forward is that it is in Reno, Nevada. And not to shit on Reno anymore, but r if you know where Reno, Nevada is, it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. So, and it's hard to get to. Mm -hmm. So, um, I can totally see people not going to it if they're not going to address certain issues. You know, why pay $400 to get a flight and then 800 bucks for a room if you're not going to be treated right and your, call, your concerns aren't going to be addressed by constant. I so, mean, why pay $800 just to stay in – well, why pay – why pay to register for the convention if you're just going to be too afraid to leave your room all day, all weekend? You know? Do you get what I'm saying? Mm hmm I do. Yeah. Um, I, I do think that the convention is on the right track, though. And I think they're going to experience growth. I, there are just certain issues they need to resolve, like the issues with Growly. They need to really resolve that. Because yeah. if they can't, Overdoomed. then... There's yes. No so about it. Growly, they've put themselves so far in a PR PR nightmare. There's just no fucking helping it. Yeah. So regards to the Growly situation, not only was Growly um, able to attend BLFC this year, he also got his own panel, which was what Furry Price is Right. Yeah, it which... was a Furry Price is Right, and there was he, he also did, he also did another panel that I'm forgetting. Oh, really? Yes, he did two panels this year, I think. Oh, wow. Like, they couldn't find any other people that wanted to do a panel about anything? No, they couldn't. I... They, had, they, had to, they had to have the pedo to just do a panel yeah, twice. sadly. It's because he paid money to be there. Because money trumps your own fucking whatever the fuck it's called. That, and you have to remember that uh, Mr. Pronoun People is staff at BLFC2. Remember Mr. Pronoun People? Oh, yeah, that guy. Yeah. From FWA. <laughs> oh, boy. Lord have mercy. I hope he got a stern talking to. <laughs> he didn't. Lord, look at this. I can hope, but it probably didn't happen. Oh, look at the check. Oh, sweet Jesus. Lord have mercy. <sighs> Give us the deets, Psylocke. Oh, look in the chat. Oh, Lord have mercy. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay. No, this is not going to be in the chat. No. <laughs> Silox, why, why did you chat. make us look at something in the chat and then just instantly what? remove it? I, that wasn't me. I You're removing stuff from the chat. Stop that. From the chat, the chat will have no heresy in it. Oh, so it's you, Sharky, that's removing mm -hmm. heresy. 
Okay. Because I will not have that heresy in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> All I saw was an elephant and Brian. What's wrong with no, that? No, it's Brian. Oh, my God. Macro Brian is hot. Oh, God. No, Sorry, no, I'm being trash right now. You can yeah, I know you're on. being trash in the middle of a fucking podcast. I'm sorry. I'm not the one who shills for Spirit Airlines in the middle of a fucking podcast. Oh, that wait. That Lyft. wasn't you. That was that, that was Lifty, you Lyft. fucking cunt. God hey, now. It. I am not a woman's vagina, okay? You fucking dick. Anyway, can we get back on topic? <laughs> anyway, so addressing the growly situation. Yeah, it was trashy that BLFC allowed... Growly to be a panelist twice, not once, but twice, and be around underage furries and so forth, and people who have legit anxiety issues about being around pedophiles and sexual offenders. However, there is something, some information that we dug up about the legality of the situation, and it basically deals with the convention's status as a 501c3 corporation, which mm-hmm. essentially means that they are a charity organization. And that actually restricts who they can allow in, which means that they can't actually kick Growly out as much as people would want him not to be in this space, would not want him around in this area. Uh, The 501c3 status kind of says, no, no, you can't do that. And that's where we're in the legal quandary here. Um, A 501c7, on the other hand, it's a social organization, but that also means that while they are tax-exempt, donations made to that organization aren't tax exempt. So you can't write them off on your taxes. Whereas if you're a 501c3, anything that you donate, you can write off on your taxes because that's tax exempt. You're donating literally to a charity at that point. So that's where we're sitting in now. Of course, people are still complaining about Growly being at a BLFC just as they were complaining about Growly being at FWA. But I'm just here to say, I'm not here to defend Growly because he is a lowly piece of shit. I want to make that 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 absolutely clear that Growly is like the lowest scum and he needs to wash his fucking fursuit. Yes, you need to wash your fursuit, my dude. It smells like shit. He needs to burn his fucking fursuit more yes, like. Yes, he needs there to cleanse no it in fire. <laughs> what yet. remains of my that dude, yet. sagging rag get you, that he calls a suit. Get you some new glasses and get you a haircut because you look like a classic pedophile with the shit that you rocking. Do all that and you be go, you be Gucci. Yeah, but uh, but for all the complaints that everybody's making, there's not a lot people can do. There's not a lot the conventions can do to actually prevent him from being in these conventions just because they are a charity and they have to... They can terribly (laughs) kick his ass out. How about that? Well, if he breaks the rules, yeah. Make a rule that requires that no pedophiles are around. Boom, broke rule, can kick him out. (laughs) Like I said, I I think there's, there's some legal issues that... I wish it were that easy. Yeah, Don't we I, all wish I wish it was that. that easy too. But well, I think you can make a lot the of... rules as a charity, right? Not necessarily. The, the, I mean, the, there's Go a lot of murky. Out, there's a lot of legal gray going. areas and, and murkiness. I, I'm not a lawyer, first and foremost. I'm not. I'm not ver- well versed in corporate law, so don't take my word as the word of God or anything. But I'm just You're saying. You're not God. You're a near mortal man. But I'm just saying. You don't get because say. they're a 501c3, they have they're restricted on who they can push out. And I don't think that they can I don't think they have the power to be a 501c3 and also kick out Gravely or keep out Gravely actually. Um, I think if if anybody is well versed in law, you know, feel free to uh, correct can us on the matter. Can we get the internet and... lawyers out here please? Yeah, you I can ask Boozy, you would probably know. 
Yeah, I would love to, actually. That's if, an if awesome idea. Let's get Boozy on board and just start well, fucking actually, I destroying think, everything. I think, he, I think he's been asked several times about the legality of, of the situation, and he's just kind of... He recused himself. <sighs> he's I think punted, okay. Honestly, I can understand him not wanting to get involved with this shit. Yeah, I don't think he wants to get involved storm. with this shit. It's just, it is so much murky drama that he just doesn't want to get involved with it. And I, you know, I totally understand. Though some insight on the matter would be great, but I, I, I just don't want to pester. I don't want to badger Boozy about it. Ha ha ha. You see what I did there? Go fuck yourself. Mm-hmm. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you guys are awesome. I, I, I am not. I am a terrible person. <laughs> I am the bane of one's existence. Hail Hydra. Moving on, let's talk about Telegram now. So, uh, oh, fuck, that sounded weird. Good Lord. It sounds um, like you're dying. Yeah, well, I'm getting there every day. Every day I move closer to God, unfortunately. That, that sounded weird, I don't too. Associate with him. I don't either, but he wants me to associate him, and it's like, no, I'm sorry. But I feel like not. if I start associ- like if I just walk into a church, I might just burst in flames or something like that. I, I think that's, like, standard for most furries. Uh, so, what was it? Last week, um, Telegram decided to go full Thanos on us and snap its hands, and it didn't work for about an hour and 15 minutes. So yeah, it was actually on May 16th that Telegram experienced yes. a disruption for American users. Yes. And quite frankly, that was so crazy. I remember when that happened. And I think we were talking in the uh, Furry Frequencies chat and it just stopped working. And I'm like, hello, hello, what's going on? And I yeah. was like, oh, we fuck. were all we were down. all kind of like struggling to talk to other human beings. <laughs> Because we're talking to people that aren't on Telegram, and I'm like, how the fuck do we talk to these people? What the hell? I can't use stickers, anything, nothing! I had to talk about the royal baby to to my coworkers. And so I work with a bunch of boomers, and they all love the royal family. Oh, bless your heart. It's like, God, I really don't care about Kate and, and Meghan. Like, who gives a fuck? Let them live their lives, man. Who cares? It's like... Oh, did you see the royal baby? I'm like, yeah, I saw it. And it's deep down, I'm like, God, I don't give a fuck about that disgusting ingrate. Shut the fuck up. Who cares? But yeah, I they, talked they about, didn't, yeah. They, they didn't choose the royal life. The royal ch- life chose them. First of all, they named that kid Archie. What kind of royal name is that? Who names their kid Archie, first of all? At least that's they a, didn't name him like Northwest or some shit like that. Oh well, that's a different type. Of, well, they those, not, people, those people yeah, are or, stupid. Or Psalm. Um, yeah, well, Kanye and Kim aren't the smartest people in the world. So. <laughs> I, I, I can, you know, I can forgive them for. Hey, what that. do you have against Yee? Against who? Yeezy? Yee. 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 What do you have Yee? against Yee? Nothing. I love his music. I, I've loved his music since college dropout. Yeah, um, I know, right. Yeah, that shit was amazing. I listened yeah. to that growing up, and it, it really got me into hip hop. Um, no, I love the old Kanye. I'm not a fan of his newer stuff, especially his old weird persona that he's doing now, which I just think is just the gin up album sales, honestly. But um, that's the topic for a different day. But I, I just think the name Northwest is really tacky. I wouldn't name a, a child that at all. Um, the only thing that they have going for them is that their parents are famous, so they'll get a leg up in society. Mm-hmm. But anybody else who did that would be mocked to hell and back. It's just not something you do for your children. But um, going back to inter- talking, interacting with your coworkers during this Telegram outage, I had to talk about that. I pretended that I watched The Bachelor, which I don't. That's another thing I don't get. I don't see the. I don't get that shit. What is so good about The Bachelor and The Bachelorette? Those people, first of all, those are actors and actresses. They are playing a role, people. They are not actually in love. It's all scripted reality bullshit. Okay. Usually, after filming, they break up. They don't stay together. I don't see the the thrill in watching that shit. Oh, oh, fuck that. 
look, if you want to make money, go be a stripper. Go whore yourself out to a bunch of fat chicks. Go make porn. Okay? Don't it's porn reality. It's cheap drama. Season. Cheap it's drama. It's cheap drama, yeah. I mean, look, reality television, ever since it hit the airwaves, reality television has been like the cheapest way for networks to actually create content and uh, drum up lots of viewers for it. Like, think it, it has been a wild... Reality TV has been a wild moneymaker for networks ever since they discovered it. Think of it like this. Our telegram... Okay, excuse me. Our television and radio broadcast waves are being transmitted out into space. Mm -hmm. So what's going to happen is before... Unless they in sort of peter out, which they're expected to do, but if some, say, spacefaring civilization catches up to these radio waves and listens to them, and these, tele these, telegram, these television um, signals or whatever, they're going to think that we're a trashy species because they're going to hear things from the Real Housewives of Orange County, uh, Tamar and Vince, um, The Challenge, Real World New Orleans, The Real World, Real World San Diego, Real World Iraq, you know, shit like that, you know, and I don't think they want to hear that at all. They don't want to see trashy people being trashy. Are I, you sure? Yes, because they'll assume what if the it's, about us. Hold on. What if it's like that one episode of Rick and Morty where those giant heads just show up from out of nowhere and just say, show me what you got? <laughs> then I think we're screwed. Hey, that'd be great. <laughs> I mean... I don't know, man. I want to live to see 2100 and then die the next day. So um, I can't do that if... Wait a minute. 91? Wait. Two. I just want to live to oh, see fuck. the world... I can't do math. ...get into a war with Albania nice. that uh, suddenly thrusts the entire world in nuclear Albania. hellfire and... And then all of a sudden, this huge, massive Albania. cloud of I wasn't paying attention. This got really dark when I snapped back into what was going on. Albania? Yes. That is the Albania. most random country up? ever. Are you serious? I Have you never read the book On the Beach by second. Neville Shute? You're talking about <laughs> fucking Albania being nuked. Wait, Albania of all countries. You chose Albania. Of I did all not choose Albania. No, you you made a conscious choice. You had 192 countries to choose from, and you chose Albania. You could have said Serbia, Montenegro, France, um, the Pitcairn Islands, which aren't even a fucking country, but bear with me here. You could have chose all those countries, and you chose Albania. It That's was trifling. in the book. I don't give a fuck where it was. It's Albania. You uncultured swine. <laughs> you can't even spell that. What? Spell what? Uncultured swine. You can't spell that. U N C U L T U R E D space S W I N E. Now what? Again, I, just got I have no idea what's going on right now. <laughs> I really tuned out for a second. Then have you guys never read the book nuking on the beach? Where the fuck? And then <laughs> he wants to nuke no Albania. He okay, wants to nuke Albania. No, but it's a very sad story in which after a nuclear hellfire destroys the entire world, these people just live their last few days out in Australia and just watch as Australia. this as this huge cloud of radioactive garbage just engulfs you, the entire world. You just said Albania, and now you're saying Australia. Yeah, nuclear I'll be in mind. Yeah, what the, did Australia the, do? The nuclear war <laughs> starts in Albania. Why in, in Albania the of all countries? I don't know. Do they They're okay? so like low key. Them? Who cares about them? The what? book was written in the fifties. Okay, bear with me here, but it was a great story. <laughs> Of all countries, they chose like the one no one cares about, Albania. <laughs> we apologize That's in so advance random. for any Albanians that may be listening to the show. Nuke, like, no, they don't. <laughs> to retaliate this nuclear response sent forth to them. <laughs> Who the fucking cares about Albania? That's weird. Yeah, fuck you, Albania. Who cares? Out of about all you? the countries, <sighs> they chose Albania. I'm not gonna say anything about Albania. Have you ever been? Have you even been there? No. Have okay. Well, don't talk shit about Albania because they're nice people. 
Okay. Yeah, Albania I'm pretty rocks. sure they are nice people, but yeah. you two are shitting on Albania. Like I was it's, not. Sh- I said nothing. Like of it's the a sort. fucking toilet. I said nothing of the sort, and you can't prove that in a court of law. Thank God. Uh, that would be bad. How did we get here? I blame you for bringing up Albania in the first place. And then Australia, <laughs> after that, it's like, okay, make up your mind, please. You're confusing the eight Oh, countries. Jesus. <laughs> anyway, talk about the telegram. <laughs> Very Frequencies <laughs> likes to take this time to mention that um, though we like to joke, we respect all countries on Earth, even the Fuck North you, Koreans. Albania. Okay, even the Chinese, even though they're fucking weird and crazy, we fucking respect commies. them. Except for commies. We don't respect commies. They they're not real people. Fire. They're not. By the way, try Applebee's. It's the best thing ever. Shut up! Damn it, Sarlacc, stop! If he wants to plug Applebee's, fine. I get paid to plug Applebee's. Where's no, my don't. money? You don't get paid to Where's plug my Applebee's. Where's my money? I get paid in stock prices. That's what I get paid in. Then you don't oh, have to oh, 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 <laughs> so now the truth comes out. Oh, I see how it is. I mean, I have, I have stock in United. I get paid to plug them, so I mean, it is what it is. Do you Shut honestly up. have stock in United? Do man? not start I with do. United Airlines. Yes, I Why do have stock in United. Why did you put stock in United? Don't ask. I was drunk one night, and you're like, okay. You I that's the only way I would invest United. in United, being <laughs> drunk as shit. Stock in United, which is a legally fucking binding contract. Oh, Lord. I made bad decisions. Don't make, don't be like me, How people. How can you be drunk bad. and still legally sign a contract for stock? I was on um, Robin Hood, and I bought stock in United. Mm. I, I have stock in U.S. Steel, which is, by the way, a bad investment because, holy shit, the tariff things didn't pan out, and... Well, I'm stuck with a useless stock at the moment, but that's a discussion for a different day. Fuck you, Trump. You can go die in a fire with your stupid, useless tariffs. The point is, I have stock in United Airlines because I was drunk one time. I have stock in Sprint. In Sprint. Sprint. I don't have stock in anything, even though I really should be getting stock in something. Yes, you should, because you're going to be poor like Lifty one day, and I don't want you to be like that. Hey! You have stock in Sprint, which is terrible. No, you know what? I got that stock for free. That was my one free stock <laughs> on Robinhood. <laughs> they gave you a shitty stock. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> they gave you Sprint. But yeah, Sharky, you need to invest because... I really do, but I'm fucking lazy. I will help you with I that. I am too. I will make yeah. you lots of money. Yeah, I'm lazy with stock too. Because Just that's... don't invest in Bitcoin, please. Don't yeah, be like don't. that idiot. <laughs> don't be like Sammy. It was okay if I invested it years ago when it was really cheap. But now well, that, the people that, that try to invest in it are just killing its value. Invest in furry coin. That's my new. That will get me lots of money, actually. <laughs> yes, invest in will. beans. No. 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 Do not start that. Do not bring up beans. Please don't. <laughs> That's disgusting. I just did. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck beans, man. I don't want to hear about that shit. Uh, how did we get here? I you, you well, you brought up Albania, and from there, it's oh god damn it, shut up about Albania already. What? They're an industrious people, okay? Yes, but they're not the. They're not the. <laughs> you can't blame all your problems on Albania. I don't. Albania. We are Americans. We blame our on problems on someone else, and we blow them up. North Macedonia. Oh, that's right. Macedonia became North Macedonia. That's right. Firam, as it was called. The Federal Yugoslavic Republic of Macedonia became North Macedonia this year. That says a lot. That's sad. Okay. Albania is a country in the Balkans. It's a republic. It's a unitary parliamentary constitutional democracy. Its capital is Tirana. There are more people in Maryland than in Albania. That says a lot. That's oh, sad. Jesus. <laughs> and they have nukes, apparently. <laughs> oh, Lord. Anyway. Thanos. Thanos. So he broke, moving on he broke from, Telegram. Yeah, so he broke Telegram for, <laughs> for what, an hour and 15 minutes? All that for a bunch of clout. Way to go, Thanos. Yeah. 
you cannot live with your own failure. I mean, I, <laughs> Where did that bring I you? figured out a way to, uh, <laughs> to communicate with other furries. I just used Twitter because Twitter was still running. Yeah, yeah, no. I think and, most people um, did you go to go to Twitter at that point or Discord. And, and people were concerned. It's like, how do I finish my RP? And Telegram was like, what's an RP? Oh, that's so trashy. Oh yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> oh, oh totally. God for totally. Like in a telegram's like, what's that? And like, no, you know what RP is. Come on. Don't be stupid. You know what it is. Telegram does not know. Telegram is innocent. These are grown ass men. They know what RP is, okay? There are grown ass women. Russian men. They don't have time for that crap. What do Russians do during the day? They they're on Telegram. They're they're making back shady backroom deals. No, no, no. They squat and drink vodka. That's a stereotype. First of all, those are slobs who do that, okay? Oh, those are I Russians. see. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Don't be racist, okay? I think they're a race. I don't know. They're white, in my opinion, so that means they're a race. They're Russians. Uh, Russians are, Russians are strange, man. I, they're something else. They're they like fight. They like to fight bears and drink vodka, nude, and it's like that sounds awesome. I mean, have you seen their president? He's like on the cover of magazines, naked, and on calendars, naked, and it's like, okay, they're so comfortable. Send me pictures of this. Of Vladimir Putin naked? Yes. You want to see I don't, that? I don't believe it. You actually want to see that? Yes, I don't believe it. It's your funeral, man. Hey, go for it. Well, I mean... Hello, I am Vladimir Putin. I am going to <laughs> hack your elections next year. Good luck, Amerikansky. <laughs> Wait, how, how tall is he? He's actually 5'7". Holy shit, he is small. Wow. Oh jeez. Vladimir yeah. Putin nude. I'm gonna <laughs> Wait, are you searching? Why this are shit? you Googling I this? I literally fate like zoned out and zoned back in. I hear like, He has a dad bod. <laughs> Good lord. No shit. Yeah, he's what is he in his fifties? He's like what, fifty seven? I don't know, man. He's all I know is he's rich as fuck. He's like a billionaire. He's worth like thirty one billion or something. Yeah. Because he was part of the KGB back in the day yeah no there's like a lot of pictures of him holding a fish with holding a fish nude um chilling with some russian oligarch nude it's <laughs> really weird no i just seen that no just you saying that he's holding a fish nude and, and i'm just thinking of that meme it's like i will not proceed to pleasure myself with this fish <laughs> oh lord <laughs> all right uh, i'm gonna post this in the uh the cast chat you can look at it He's riding a horse in this one. Uh, oh, yeah, I already seen that one a long while ago. That's not nude. That's just shirtless. That's fine. Apparently, I call it two nude. innocent Psylocks wearing no shirt is nude. What? No. He is nude, okay? You should put a shirt on. Please do. Put a shirt Psylox, on. Psylocks, do you have hesitation whenever you go to the beach? Because everybody Do I there, no, I enjoy that because I get to check out all the hot guys at the beach, so it's fine. <clears throat> okay, so what if Vladimir Putin was on the beach? Would you say that he is nude? Yes. But what if what if a random person beside him was? <laughs> Don't um, make fun of my accent. What a boot! You are not Canadian, my friend. I am not Canadian. I'm you Minnesotan. What a what a boot! All right, so I, I have. Pr I'm a proud Minnesotan, okay? Minnesotan. Yeah. I mean, you had Michelle Bachman as your congressman. God so. damn it. Don't fucking remind me. Yeah. I did All not right. vote for her. Here's a picture a of. Fucking light bulb woman. Of Vladimir Putin and Tony Abbott naked. Or what? Shirtless in 2014. Yes. So again, Tony zoned out, came back at a bad time. Got it. <laughs> Tony that not, again. That's not naked. None that's of that naked. is naked. Well, okay. The pri okay, Tony, Tony Abbott, Abbott is naked in that picture. Do you no, see? No, he's Dick. wearing a speedo. That's naked. No. No, yes, that's just naked. wearing a speedo. Naked means I can see genitalia. Ew. No, naked to me means you are wearing no clothes at all. The hair on Tony's chest looks like the stuff that gets pulled out of the drain in the shower. <laughs> that makes me sad. 
Yeah, he's because, no longer he's no longer prime minister. Um, I know he's not been prime minister for quite a while now. Yeah, but I'm gonna zoom yeah. back in and say, what the hell are we fucking talking about? <laughs> naked we're people. Talking about, naked no, no, politicians. No, 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 no. We're talking about Tony Abbott's hairy chest. I want to hear about this. <laughs> shit. I want to hear about something funny and fun to talk about, not the shit okay. they hide kids from. Okay, so moving on, let's talk the about mascots. Yeah, let's talk about furry mascot. There is a huge discrepancy in quality of fursuits regarding collegiate and sports mascots, especially professional sports, and just regular fursuits. And we've been talking about this, and we just basically thought that, you know, it would be great if these collegiate and professional sports teams devote some of their money, their millions of dollars that they get from ticket sales and and merchandise sales and clout to actually making decent mascot fursuits that actually represent their character pretty damn well. So we've been looking at some fursuits and some mascots from several countries and uh, various organizations and came up with a good list of some that we thought were great and some that we thought were horrible. First of all, I'm going to say shame <laughs> on you, Old Dominion University, because your mascot, Big Blue, is the most uninspired mascot I have ever seen. Ugh. <laughs> Bingo sites. Ah, uh, yes. Well, no, there's worse. Um, have you seen the Penn State mascot? Penn Which State. Is this, yeah, their mascot is horrible. It is hideous. Show me a picture, because all I thought was Penn State mascot was just um, Riley Winters in fursuit. It could be at this point. You never know. I mean, that'd probably be an improvement, right? It, <laughs> trust me, when you see this, it will be an improvement, because this is. Yeah, please show me, because. <sighs> I want, I want to see the cringe. Okay, your funeral. Come on, man. I've yet to cringe. Yes, open image a new tab. Thank you. All right, mm -hmm. so it should work. Um, I'm going to put this in the chat so it actually opens. All right, so it's in the furry frequency chat. Look at it. Okay. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> That's not a puma. <laughs> Kill it. <laughs> that is like a horrible teddy bear costume. Well, that yes, that is. Shit um, you make it like five below. Yes, that is the <laughs> mascot of the Pennsylvania State University. Um, it is. They, so, they are, so their mascot is the Nittany Lions. And that is supposedly a Nittany Lion right there. Yeah, Riley Winters' fursuit. Riley Winters just being their in fursuit would be a hell of an improvement over this. This is like the shit that you make <laughs> at furry conventions at those con <laughs> panels where it's like you have 30 seconds to build a fursuit from random piles of garbage. God, that is that is terrible. Oh, I found even I mean, I've seen pick. some I've seen some good shit out of those panels. But this oh, oh Jesus. Jesus. That's <sighs> even worse. That's even worse picture. Look at that. Yeah, this thing. Oh my god, <laughs> this thing should not be around children. Look at this. See, look at this shit. I'm not gonna make a Penn State joke. Um, I'm gonna, I'm in a good mood. Yeah, don't, don't, don't make any jokes regarding Penn State and um, sexual molestation. They're, they're, they're really trying to. Well, walk they, past that. I mean, you try to, but you. You know, give Joe Pa a pass and all that, but okay. Joe Pa died. That let me just say that was so weird. Like the minute he got fired, like a few days later, he died. It was like really weird how that happened. Sometimes that hap sometimes things happen like that. Like sometimes people have been in positions where they're just they they've they've worked themselves into such a passion for their job that when they suddenly just not work anymore, they just die. Or even worse is when somebody has a lot of devotion to somebody and, you know, they've been living them with them for so long that when their significant other dies, 
they die like a couple days later. It's sad. Yeah, no, really we had a, we had a family friend like that. Uh, she passed from cancer, and her husband died a few days later. It was yeah. very weird. Yeah, but I mean, it happens like that, and it's really sad to see. Yeah, no, but was, um, yeah, but going oh. back to the Penn State mascot, oh my God, even Big Blue is better than this shit. I found this a is, kick. This ass is a mascot. one out of ten. I P- found a Penn kick State ass is mascot. a one out of ten. Okay, go ahead. So this is for the Toledo um, Rockets. Um, let me get let me actually get the image tapped open. So their mascot isn't actually a, a um, animal; it's a person. Mm-hmm. Oh my God! It's a discount fucking Power Ranger. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ! It looks like like Buzz Lightyear and a fucking Power Ranger gave birth, and the child didn't come out right. <laughs> Bless him. <laughs> I mean, why did they? Why did they make the helmet out of foam? They could have just bought some helmet out of like Dennis Kirk or some shit. Because people, they're fucking late. Oh, have you seen the um Stanford mascot? No. The cart. Okay, so the cart. So Stanford's um, their uh mascot. They're, so Stanford is called the Stanford Cardinal. Um, yes, it's not Cardinals. It's Cardinal. But for a mascot, um, they don't use an actual cardinal. Um, they use a tree. And it is the hideous looking tree. It is such a hideous looking tree. Uh, okay, let me just... Okay. Enjoy. I heard... Did I hear you correctly? It's a tree. Yes, it's a tree. That's their mascot. Oh, my God! Oh, oh Lord. This is like the weird. <laughs> it's this fucking is, this weed. Is, <laughs> <laughs> no, this is the horrible love child between the Grinch and old Greg. Dude, it looks like they tried to fucking make a, like a weed plant and then fucking gave up. And then the oh, highest fuck Lord. makers were like, "Fuck it, we we'll just try this." Oh good Lord, this is a zero. This <laughs> is a zero out of ten. Stanford, you should be ashamed of yourself. You make so much money being an Ivy League school, and this is what you shit out. All right, so this is a soccer mascot. I don't know the team, though, but this is a soccer mascot. I oh. think this is a dolphin, I think, or a fish. Um, I actually like this one. I don't. I don't know. It's kind of cute. It's kind of toony. It's kind no. of... Uh, no. It's nice. Just no. No. And then here's a horrible one. Um, enjoy. Oh! <laughs> the fuck is that? Uh, it? Get that shit off my screen. Good God. We're, we're going to have to fucking. Uh, I don't know what, what school it, that's uh, for, but yeah. It, it's I don't hideous. care. <laughs> that is so bad. I have to g- delete it. Killing them. Now, the schools that do have a good Did not mascot, even deserve a score. Um, so, Brutus from Ohio State. Their mascot is, I know he's kind of creepy looking. He just stares at you. But that's actually a very good mascot um, and how it's presented and created. Um, the University of Maryland, they have a terrapin turtle. It's a very good mascot, the way it's made. Um, not every college has an actual mascot. I know for LSU, they actually have an actual tiger, Mike. VI, I think they're on now. They're um, beating Georgia. everyone to the point, just getting actual fucking animals. Yeah, Georgia has an actual bulldog, and I think Texas has Beaver, which is an actual Longhorn cow. Um, Can we um, mention just how Mexico somehow has the mascot game on point, sometimes better than some professional football teams and collegiate teams here in America? Oh yeah, oh you can. Like Club Tijuana, I don't care. Me. I don't care what you say about Club Tijuana's uh, mascot. <laughs> He's hot as fuck. I'd suck his dick. Oh but- my god. <laughs> yes. Oh wait, no. LSU does have a mascot. Yeah, but they rarely use it. It's hideous. But <laughs> what? <laughs> they, they Are we talking about more hideous mascots? Said never to be used again. Yeah. No, they're actually getting, they're actually trying to change it because it's really disgusting. It's really ugly. They should just commission to some of the artists in the very. They really yeah, I, want, should. I want to see and the cringe. I want to see something for two seconds forever. and then demand that I remove it. 
Okay. Let me I want to see LSU's mascot now. Are you actually going to bring that up? What? what? LSU's mascot? Yeah. Yeah, I, I want to see this cringe. It's not like cringe. super cringy. It's just weirdly done. It looks like a Build-A-Bear. This is, just, this is yeah. sad. It is. But they're trying All to change it. All I saw was white fluff and then the face. Well, here's, a, here's an idea. Google search fursuit. Google search fursuit <laughs> maker. Go look up anyone who makes a fursuit. Commission, Commission my sister. Them. She's a good maker. Commission right. them, and, one, and they'll make something far better than this shit. So this is the mascot for uh, my favorite basketball team, the New Orleans Pelicans. Um, it is pretty cringy. Uh. Ooh, God, yes. it's a horror movie. Uh, um, that is Pierre the Pelican, and uh, they trot that out every night. I shit you not. That looks like some <laughs> shit you put in a horror movie and it might actually do good. Oh, God. Yeah, no, some of the mascots that these teams have are just so Fucking hideous. Yeah. Now, to be fair, the no Seahawks... No wants to be around that. Um, the Seahawks have a very amazing mascot. Um, it's called Blitz, and my God, Blitz is sexy as fuck. Good Lord. Let me pull him up. But I also want to bring up some really good fursuits. And not only that, but Mixed Candy um, back in 2017, I believe. Uh, no, actually, 2015 was commissioned by a Russian hockey team. And they created an amazing blue wolf furry fursuit mascot. I, I just see this is how it should be done. In yeah, that view, was actually is... really well done, too. Yeah, I love How it. How do we get into these mascots like this? Is this actually one of our topics? Because I forget. Yeah, yeah, no, that's topic, yeah this yeah. is totally one of our topics. Oh, okay, I forgot. Oh, yeah, we were talking about the Seahawks mascot, too. Yeah, uh, like, that's a really well done mascot. Like, yeah. I, I he's would, hot. I, you know he's what? Hot. Yeah. You know what? I'll give him a seven. Seven out of ten. He can step on me any day. Wait, what? I mean, he, he is... He is <laughs> Like, I would totally suck his dick. <laughs> what? Nothing, nothing, nothing. I, that's just so out there. I, I, the way you said it, it's like, yeah, he can suck my dick. I mean, he is, he is pretty hot. Yeah, I know you're not wrong. He is. Yeah. And he is sporting a nice little bulge. So, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Well, in that picture he is. Oh, oh, geez. Getting hot in here. Yeah, it is. Hmm. Yeah, but no. Um, I I wish more teams would consider contacting actual fur suiters. Excuse me, not fur suiters. Fur suit makers for mascots because fur suit makers know how to actually make a costume. They know how to bring it yeah. to life. They know how to take some of the most complex and original ideas for a character and put them um, into an actual suit. So I think with something like um, that, what we've seen for the Nittany Lion for Penn State, that could have been done by an actual fursuit maker, and it would have turned out really, really well. No, even though what? it's even though if it's such a simplistic design of just brown and then black eyes, it, it really could have been done much better. Yeah. No, all they need to do is just ask Riley, "Hey, want to be our mascot for our sports team? Just be our mascot. Just wear." The he wears a partial, okay. He does, yeah. Yeah, he wears a partial, and it's a far better partial than that furry garbage bag that they trot around at football games. That is just trifling. Yeah. Good. <sighs> Lord Almighty! Like they make all that money. From the yeah, they make all that money on and fees and room and board and tuition and blah blah blah. They could and stand to this spend is it what they should have. Yeah, oh, and these are some of the mascots for the Stanford, NFL teams. But Stanford, you are the same fucking way. Don't you start? <laughs> and and ODU, you are not off the hook. Stanford Cardinal, but our mascot is a tree. <laughs> Fuck that. There are fursuit makers that can actually make a better cardinal fursuit than that bullshit. I mean, Sharky's sister could do it. I Honestly. know, right? Yeah. Instead of making a mutant Christmas tree. That's pretty gay. 
Yeah. All it's missing are the lights. Christmas is a nice holiday. I like Christmas. You know, I like Christmas too, but I just like spending time with family and all that. And I don't really care about presents anymore. I'm too yeah, old for I'm the that. same way. I like spending time with with family and yeah. I just like this the 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 time that we spend and just you know mm-hmm. the warm fuzzies that you get from just being with our, with I know, our family right? and all it's, that. It's nice. Yeah, yeah. And uh, moving on, we've, we've <sighs> kind of we've kind of beaten the horse. Kind of beating the horse to death on uh, fursuit max gots and such. Yeah. So but, let's uh, talk about some local real, events that yeah, uh, real we real quickly. Let's get on to um, the yeah. meetup that we were at yesterday. Well, not yesterday. Um, a couple of days ago. So we went to Arundel Mills um, to just chill out the mall, walk around, eat, hang with people, and um, we ended up well, we ended up running into a bunch of other furries. Um, while we were heading to see Detective Pikachu, um, mm-hmm. what are the odds of that? Don't answer that question, please. And um, yeah, no, we. Saw I this. did the math. <sighs> oh my god! Want me to talk about the math? No, no, no. Don't confuse the viewers, please. Don't. Uh... So then we saw Detective Pikachu. Um, it was okay. Um, mm-hmm. I didn't come in having that too high of expectations. Uh, it was okay. I, I just wish that they incorporated much more of the Pokemon lore that our generation kind of grew up with, you know, with things like Team Rocket and, you know. I wish they had Pokemon that I actually knew from when I was a kid because I had no idea who oh, any God, of those yeah. sons of bitches were except for, like, a handful of them. Besides, besides the Bulbasaur and the Pikachu and the, the – not the Diglett. What's that, what's that annoying – Ditto. No, uh, the um, Cubone, Cubone, the, that thing. Yeah, Cubone. And the that shit was fucking funny. That part yeah. was damn yeah. funny. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. That Mewtwo was hot as fuck, though. No, he was. Oh, my Lord, yes. Yeah, absolutely. Mm, but, um, thirsty. Yeah, same here. <laughs> no, I was disappointed because Cinemark doesn't give out the cards that you're supposed to get. When you're going to <laughs> you wanted Pikachu. Pokemon cards. Yes, I got two free Pokemon cards from watching it at AMC. That's Wait, the least they can do. It? Yeah, in 3D. Oh, I still have my Pokemon trading oh, cards from when I was a kid. I yeah, me too. I have Fight my Yu-Gi-Oh me, cards. I will I'm... fucking end you with my old school cards. I have my yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh cards that I still play with people with, and um, I'm very good at it. I used to be ranked. In my school, I was ranked, okay? I didn't say nationally. I said in my school, I was ranked in the top five. I was that good, okay? Get at me. But mm-hmm. I plan on saving those. Um, they're going to be worth some money down the line in the near future, I believe. So, yeah. um, like, hold on. Like, always hold on to your cards. Um, Pokemon, Digimon, Yu-Gi-Oh! Always ho- hold on to that stuff because in the future, they're going to acquire value. Even the most... Um, what's the word? The most the card that has the most um, circulation out there will still acquire some kind of value down the line. So it's always important to hold on to your cards. Until your mother cleans your room one day while yes. you're at school and throws away all your Pokemon cards. Yes. Is that then... what happened to you? No. Damn it. Oh, oh okay. I was going to make fun of you if that happened. I was too. I was too. I was going to give him shit. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> Yeah, I still I got all my cards since I was a kid, and I still know how to play the game, which I do want to get back into because it was actually pretty fun. Yeah. But I'm um, going over the uh, the 3D part of Detective Pikachu. Um, it was actually a pretty decent movie to watch in 3D. But um, anytime, one thing that I'm going to say is, uh, anytime there was lens flare in oh God, that's the movie. The worst. Yeah, the 3D effect will make you pay attention to the lens flare and will not let you watch anything else. You will Ooh. be fixated on the le- on the lens flare. And also, the best application of the 3D effect was actually in the end credits when they were showing the uh, the animation sequence. Mm-hmm. That was that was really good 3D. That was a really good 3D scene, like right there. 
because everything popped out at you and it was awesome oh yeah it was um yeah. like i said it's an okay movie it's a quick way to waste two hours at the theaters um mm. nothing i don't know i think because i've been spoiled by endgame for three times already i'm kind of like you know tapped out already of movies as it is for this year at least until star wars comes around um uh, and lord star knows wars, they're gonna probably fuck that up star um, wars oh my god yeah they're gonna you know fuck that up. no they're 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 going to be 50 years they're gonna they're going they're going to be a 50 year franchise oh fuck that no it's you know what it should end with this it should just end with this in fact you know what they should never have even done this whole tr- trilogy it should have ended with the prequels in my opinion because this is just have been, has been an unmitigated disaster it, it really has it's been bad i mean the force awakens was okay the last jedi was garbage <laughs> i didn't see solo i have no intention <laughs> to see solo sorry Rogue um, One was probably the best movie that they've put out. In the Star Wars franchise? N- no, since no, the the best standalone feature they've put out. Uh, I'm sorry, but um, A New Hope, The Empire Strikes no, Back. No, I said standalone. Return- no, standalone. Okay, all right, all right. Yeah, but no, 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 no. I'm just saying, in my view, A New Hope, The Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi. Those three are the only three movies in the Star Wars franchise that exist to me. Everything else is just garbage. I don't even pay attention to all that. Oh, I Fuck love it. I love The Empire Strikes Back. That is such an yeah, iconic film. Yeah, I do too. And that's and it's really sad and shameful for me to see George Lucas just retcon everything that went on bit by bit. In those three movies, just so he can extend the universe out indefinitely. And make money. Whatever. Yeah, and make money indefinitely and just sleep on a huge pile of money. Fuck you. Well, the Fuck prequels haven't Lucas. aged that well. Well, they've become memes at this point, which I guess is, is as good as they're going to be. They've become memes at yeah, this point. I um, actually saw, uh, I don't know why, but there was somebody like making a tweet on Twitter about um, celebrating the, what, the uh, the anniversary of Star Wars uh, Episode One, And I'm like, who the hell keeps up with this crap? Like, who the hell would actually celebrate this garbage? No, fuck you. Thank you for wasting 20 seconds of my time reading my, reading your goddamn tweet. Yeah, no, I, I I just think that the prequels, looking back at it, I I can see why they wanted to do that. They wanted to tie up loose ends because when if you just watch the original trilogy, trilogy, you're left with a lot of questions. Like, okay, how did Anakin get to this point? What is um, what was uh, 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 not Qui Gon Jinn? Um, who am I? I'm Missing, I'm missing. I'm missing the guy's name up. Um, Obi Wan. Yes, Obi Wan. What's his backstory? How did he get there? Where did Yoda come from? So I figure they wanted to tell. They wanted to tie up loose ends. They sort of did it I, because yeah. you you knew going in that okay, this is how it's going in. We're going to see Anakin's transformation into Darth Vader. But they still had to. They still had to tell a story. But on how then. To get there. But then, why on earth, or what on earth, possessed George Lucas to Money. create... No, no, listen to me. What on earth, cre- or what on earth, possessed George Lucas to create Jar Jar Binks? Oh, I mean... Okay, so the rumor out there is that Jar Jar was actually originally intended to be a Sith Lord. That was the rumor. It's hard to prove yeah. it. His actor has sort of kind of hinted on Twitter, but that that was the original intent for Jar Jar to be a um, Sith Lord. But I guess they changed it at the end up. And so we had Darth Maul instead, who, by the way, got really wasted potential right there with Darth Maul. Um, (laughs) But yeah, Jar Jar was was supposed to be 
um, a Sith Lord, but they changed his character. Up. So <sighs> the movies they haven't they've not really aged that well. Um, they've become memes on themselves. Everybody likes to say I am the Senate or I love democracy. Um, but hey, we're getting Palpatine back, so that's something, I guess. Yeah, and Apparently now you can dead. find Star Wars Episode One in the bargain bin of any Walmart for three bucks. Yeah, um, that's uh, probably the best one out of the series. <laughs> yes. Oh, you're being too generous. I know people say Episode Three, but fuck you. Episode One is pretty damn good for reasons. Oh Jesus. But no, um, it's getting late, so why don't we wrap this up? Yep. So, uh, so anyway, thank you for joining us for another exciting episode of Furry Frequencies. If you like what you hear and you want to follow us some more on Twitter, feel free to follow us at Furry Frequency. And also make sure that you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell for more updates whenever we uh, bring out a new episode on YouTube. Yes. We are still working on a SoundCloud link. Bear with us. Be patient. <laughs> This takes a lot of time and money. We'll get it soon. We'll get it soon. More money than time. So, yeah. But, yeah, we will get that up and running soon. We will also be exploring more options on how to how to uh, uh, expand our audience using other mediums. So we're working on that. Yes. Who knows? You may see, you may see live podcasting in the future. Who knows? Yes. It's, so it's I doubt it with the amount of fuck-ups we do. <laughs> I mean... You can blame me for that. That's fine. I take the blame. Okay, for that. it's all your fault, Silex. Fuck. God you. damn it! You're not supposed to agree with me. Shit. <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna just blame Albania. On who? On Albania. Yeah. Why do you hate Albania so much? I don't know. Where I don't hate Albania. Albania? <laughs> it's, it's in, in the Bal- It's in the Balkans. So yeah, it has that going for it. I guess. I don't know. Anyway. This is Furry Frequency <laughs> signing off with Lifty and Sharky and Silox. Have yourselves a great evening. Thanks. Thanks. I hate it. Fuck you all. Good night, Duluth, Minnesota. Good night, Edmonton, Canada. Y'all can go fuck yourselves. <laughs> Especially Duluth. They can go fuck themselves for reasons. Shut the fuck up. It's Minnesota, man. There's nothing there. Hey! I am a proud Minnesotan, okay? Minnesotan. Yeah. Okay. Bye, okay. Everyone. You betcha. You had that wrestler as your governor, man. Calm down. Hey, he was the greatest <laughs> governor Minnesota has ever had. Oh, Lord. Let and me I will, this off. Here and I will die on that hill. <laughs> <laughs> this is I will great. gladly die on that hill. <laughs>